welcome to another video well uh, if you are a member of this family then you must have come across a lot of videos and a lot of content that i post around uh, mba and related things starting from how to prepare and you know all the small little things uh, this video is going to be a little different it is going to be something where i would be voicing my opinion about something so I do come across a lot of issues, a lot of things wherein I feel like sharing my opinion and by God's grace, by your love, since I have a small platform wherein I do have a small number of people who watch my content, I thought that I should give this a try to voice my opinion and share my views with the world outside. So. I would be making a separate playlist on my channel wherein I will be talking about different things, um, different issues, different things that are there in the news and what do I basically feel about it. Now all the things that I will be sharing with you would not be motivated by any kind of um, political inspiration or any kind of um, you know support for one community and uh, negligence towards something else no not at all i truly feel that uh, i would be too naive to actually go into the depth on those levels so it would be simply a a way a medium wherein i'd be sharing about what i feel regarding that particular thing at that point of time so i really hope that just the way you have enjoyed my mba related content you might be able to find some value from this series as well and i'll name it as goonj because i just wanted to echo so that people could if possible take something out of this learn maybe something out of this and if if you do not really find a lot of value or if you have a difference of opinion you can even share that in the comment section so that we can talk about it in details so let me now get into what I actually wanted to talk about today. So I happened to watch Kerala story today with my friend and uh, obviously there is a lot of conversation around this at the moment wherein there is a huge section of the society, huge section of the people who are consuming this movie as an entertainment um, source. They find this movie to be very thought provoking, to be very alarming and at the same point of time there is another group of equally intelligent and equally sensitive people who talk about the authenticity of this particular situation, the numbers that are being claimed in the movie and a lot of those things. Um, I don't want to get into the depth of the numbers and uh, uh, into the controversial grey areas but I would just like to you know share certain things from here from a student's perspective from someone who has worked from someone who's right now getting back to studies after a gap and then what I really feel um, about the movie and about the things that I did come across so from the very beginning I think it is an, a habit that I have gotten from my father because uh, he is a big time book lover so he would keep reading a lot of things and he would keep sharing a lot of things whenever we go to a certain place or anything he keeps sharing a lot of things maybe that is where i started uh, or maybe that is where i got the habit of reading a little and you know being inclined towards infotainment as compared to entertainment now obviously i will I'm, I'm i've never been a book reader too much because mujhe lagta hai ki usme meri recall value thodi si kam hoti hai to i love watching a lot of content which is available on the internet which is available on a lot of sources especially the sources which are reliable regarding so many events and issues especially after the 9-11 attack I started reading uh, basically watching a lot about how that basically happened and you know things around it and what is shown in the movie is something that I have seen so many times in so many series on netflix in so many other places um on youtube there are a lot of stories there are a lot of documentaries by vice media four corners 
BBC, so many places and so many platforms, they do come up and they do bring in stories like this. So one thing is clear that no one can at this point say that things like this, you know, um, brainwashing someone, making that person come to a place where converting the religion and all of that. So, I do understand that this is not an alien concept. This is happening and probably if we are not aware about it enough, it might just keep on happening even in the future. So, all I want to share today is the places where I would really like to applaud the, audi the, the acting, uh, the direction and the way they have shown the reality of so many things. Uh, I was really having goosebumps as I was watching the movie because there are so many places, even the most intricate details of how the makeup should look like, how uh, a person who has you know gone through a lot of atrocities should look like, like uh, without making it vulgar at all. Uh, yes, there was a, there were a lot of places where you would find that you know. Uh, these dialogues are very provoking for one religion and this di these dialogues are very demeaning for one religion so you would find a lot of those moments so I think uh, the last such movie wherein I felt that I was very deeply engrossed in what I was seeing was I think uh, Uri and after that it's this movie wherein I did feel that I was very deeply invested in the movie and I did come across a lot of such content and a lot of such situations which have happened in reality as well so i'm not questioning it um from a very naive person i'm not saying that i have the uh, ability to question the numbers or the ability to question the series of actions which were reflected but from a very normal point of view i feel that things like this they do happen because somewhere down the line we are not aware if we are aware of certain situations, if we are aware of um, certain things which keep happening around us, maybe in the very softest of the manners, then I think that is where we become prey of things and situations where the entire, you know, everything becomes so out of your hand like I, I do remember <laughs> okay so since it's actually I, I'm just trying to um, pass this I don't want to I don't intend to make the video too long all I want to say is uh, after watching this movie one thing is one thing that I as an audience felt that felt was number one the art which was performed on the screen was amazing it was truly truly amazing um, the kind of acting that Ada Sharma has done and not just her even the other characters they would actually give you the feeling that when something would be happening with Ada Sharma you'd be able to relate to that uh, the places where she makes the wrong decisions you would actually feel like getting up and saying that come on do don't be so stupid to be doing that you know so there are things where uh, where you would feel that you are um, you would be invested in what is happening in the movie. Obviously, there are many such situations where you feel that this girl is so stupid. I mean, how can this girl be so stupid? How can this girl be so But I know it all depends on who is influencing you and who is controlling your mind. Because even the smartest of the person at times does the most stupid thing. So it's it's nothing like that. We don't understand how much it is It depends a lot on how you are being influenced by someone. So yes, kudos to the direction, kudos to the acting, kudos to the story. And forget about the numbers. Yes, there was a lot of hue and cry around that 32,000 Kerala girls. And you know, there was a lot of hue and cry about the number. But the only thing that I as an Indian feel is even if it happens with just one person, forget about that 32,000 as a number even if it happens with one person and it is there on in the media it is there in the news it's there everywhere even if it is happening with that one person it is difficult to accept and it should be difficult to accept for anyone irrespective of which religion you are which background you come from so 
yes and the only message that i want to present i mean i know it's not very this video is not very structured because i am just trying to give a uh, share what i feel um to bahut zyada structure nahi hoga maybe dheere dheere once i start uh, thinking about it and uh, you know preparing myself before making the video it will become more structured to wo zyada structured ya relatable lagega but i'm just trying to tell you that we need to be aware forget about every other thing but we need to be aware what's happening around us um i know when something wrong happens we never see that coming we we nobody would ever knowingly do a damage to himself or herself but yes if you are aware of the things around you i think maybe that uh, effect of the damage could be mitigated to some extent uh, so i know it's very loosely structured a uh, video but at the end of it i just want to like say a few things that one i do think that you should go and watch the movie and even if you don't want to watch the movie from the spectrum of whether it it is happening uh, or not whether it is happening at that intensity or not at least go and watch to just get the idea that how due to lack of awareness due to lack of uh, having a good amount of self control you get easily influenced by someone like agar aap isko purely entertainment purpose se bhi dekhoge then this movie is surely going to give you a lot of places where you will have goosebumps you would feel like getting up and saying that you know like what are you doing you're being so stupid so it's a very engaging movie i i I'd, i'd say any girl in your early teens to whatever age you are i think i would strongly recommend this movie people should watch this movie um, and again it's 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 not to support any one side so i don't want to make it like a politically motivated movie or anything i just want to say that even from the purpose of even for the purpose of entertainment at least you should watch the movie it does give you a lot of information and if, if even if it it doesn't give you any information at least you will get an idea that how easy at times it becomes for someone whom you trust to break your trust and actually wash your mind uh and one more thing like again as teenagers we um we do fall in love and we do have partners but sometimes around that uh, you know like so it's not necessary that your partner is going to be 100% trustworthy and especially in today's day and time when casual dating is so much you know in trend i mean people find it very okay i don't have any issues with that it's fine with you it should go well with you if if it does but it's so easy to trust people and at the same point of time it is very easy for people to break your trust so please be mindful i don't want as a girl i would feel that we very easily trust on people and maybe because of that we miss out on the basic signs of a lot of things so i would recommend you guys to watch the movie watch the movie and do share your opinion about it in the comment section i want to have a healthy conversation i don't want to make it like again and again i'm saying i am not so intelligent or i am not so aware to quote numbers and things yes i do read a lot of things along the lines i do read what the court judgments are around the numbers around the cases and all of that but i again i don't want to like put up those things in the video because that's not um, i don't want to make it a battle of numbers in the most i think in the simplest manner the only thing that i want to share with people is you should watch the movie you should understand whom are you trusting you should understand what's happening around you so that you can save yourself from things going wrong ever at all uh i really hope that the message which i was trying to convey reaches out to you if it does i would request you to stay connected to the channel um, have a look at the content if you find something that relates to you maybe you can subscribe to the channel and i think 
the next time i would want to talk about something i'd be a little more prepared but at least i would surely voice my opinion on certain issues which are happening around because as as an indian forget about oh. every other thing but as an indian if my words could make difference to any one life i would rather feel that i am the happiest person here because sometimes uh, what do you watch and what kind of people you are surrounded with it affects your decisions and if whatever i am sharing in the simplest of the manner possible if it is helping someone to be a little more aware then i'd be glad to be having such a platform where i am able to relate to people i know it just got a little stretched 15 16 minutes so i'll cut the video here but do watch the video do do watch the movie i'm sure you're going to learn a lot and at least if not a lot at least then i'm sure at least you would learn that sometimes blindly trusting someone has a price to pay i give you on that thought bye stay safe stay close to the people you love be aware what's happening in the life of the people you are with stay in touch do not let your loved ones live in silos where you're fine with the fact that they are not interacting with you or they are not sharing things with you i really really hope that this video at least urges you to check on your friends check on the people you love and see if there is something wrong with them so that if possible you could help with them and that was it for today safe life ahead and do love do keep your people whom you love as close as possible to you thank you so much for watching bye